Today I want to make a video for anyone who is contemplating uh, leaving this mortal coil. I, of course, I mean it's not being, it's being suppressed, but we know that in the last almost two years with this lockdown, we knew uh, suicide rates were going to increase, and although it's not being advertised, it absolutely is. In alternative um, publications and, and mediums, the information is getting out. Suicide rates have skyrocketed globally. And now even recently, I'm seeing my newsfeed is now filling up with um, people either talking about contemplating it or have lost somebody who did it. Um, so I just wanted to make a short video. I have made a, a couple of videos over the years. They're kind of long. I wanted to make a, just a quick short one that's more specific to the times we live in right now. So first, to let you know where I'm coming from, that I understand where you're coming from, is I myself have done the deed. In high school, uh, I did the deed. And when I did the deed, it wasn't for, like sometimes people do it for different reasons. Um, um, sometimes it's just a call for help. I would say nowadays it's less that, although it could be that too. I think it's just the general overall, over, overall you know, insanity we're all facing right now and, and seeing, so yeah. But um, sometimes it's for attention. Back then it was not for, uh, not attention, I should shouldn't say that it was a slip of the tongue it's never for attention it's for call for help there's a difference so that's what it so um that's what it is for a lot of people uh in normal circumstances um when i back in my teens that was not the case for me i wanted out of here i wanted out of here bad i mean i really did so i'm just laying the the, the framework of work so you so you understand and i understand I really wanted out of here to the point where, when I did it, I was relieved. I really thought I was leaving. But in my case, it turns out fate had uh, something else in store. It should have worked. I mean, I really did it with gusto, but it didn't work. So I was meant to be here. And uh, I know that too, because uh, in total now, I should have died uh, 17 times. Um, the others were all just, you know, accidents I, and other things where I just slipped through. So, so I know I'm supposed to be here, but that was one of the first things that I realized, um, surviving that because I shouldn't have. And, uh, it did help me turn the page from self-hate, which was just conditioning from society and, and trauma and conditioning to self-love. So that is the path. That's, that's, that's. That's how we heal. That's how we we do that. But it's 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 a long road, and um, sometimes you need help. There is help out there. So um, if you need help, please reach out to somebody. Um, you can even reach out to me. Absolutely. Um, but whoever 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 you can trust, make sure it's someone you can trust. Don't reach out to people who have shown insensitivity insensitivity in the past. Don't bother with them. Because uh, it'll only make you feel worse. Um, go to some people that generally are, are open-minded and supportive. Um, and the other thing I wanted to say, and why I really wanted to make this video, is just if you're really on the fence right now, then let me try to swing you back on our side. First of all, let me say it's understandable. I mean, this is the thing people don't understand about contemplating it. That is a normal thing. Uh, most humans contemplate that. Um, it's normal. We get overwhelmed here. Yeah, of course, it, the thought will occur to us that uh, maybe just skip it. So, yeah, it's understandable. It doesn't make, it's not a reflection of, of anyone, except it's really a reflection of the, the experience we have here in our society. So, uh, that's what it's a reflection of, not you. So, you're not an abnormal. Now, when contemplating this, it often turns into checks and balances, and it usually feels that uh, 
all the reasons to leave outweigh the reasons to say. But here's the thing about that that I discovered after, uh, you know, my attempt and, and then decades of work later, that, um, well, how do I put this? Well, simply enough, well, let's just skip straight to what I've discovered is that, first of all, if, if, I, if I was successful, I would have missed out on so much. That's the thing. I thought there was nothing to live for. I really did. I, I, I didn't see any reason to live. Boy, I was wrong. I made so many friendships, so many relationships. I've, I've, I've fulfilled small versions of my dreams. I, I, I created and published children's books. Uh, I've, I've done all kinds of things. Um, I've touched people's lives. Uh, I've, I ended up teaching uh, art classes. I've taught over 300 people uh, uh, with the intention of um, uh, doing it in a therapeutic way. Um, I've, I could go on and on with the things I've done and the people I've touched and, and the people that have touched me since then. So to think of what I would have missed out on, wow. But I couldn't have known that that was going to happen. So as dark as things seem now, I'm telling you, you can't see that there, there, there's a whole other... Yes, more challenges could come. I'm not saying just hold on and everything's going to be rainbows tomorrow. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying life gives us both positive, what we think of as positive and negatives. Um, challenges and um, and then just often magical abundance and then lots of gray areas in between so I just encourage you if you're contemplating it to just hold off because I mean unless there's certain circumstances I mean if you're physically I mean obviously if I'm if somebody's watching this that is has a chronic disease and they've been suffering for you know eight months of treatments and they're contemplating it because they can't take the pain anymore well then this isn't necessary for you, and I can't even really speak to that, um, except to trust your own judgment and look inward. But so there's, there's, it's obviously I'm blanketing it. It depends on the person and the situation. <clears throat> but generally speaking, for most of us, unless you're suffering in a deep way or, or you know, uh, or in an immediate way, where then chances are. Yes, challenges will, more challenges may come, but also uh, abundance and magic and little miracles will come. They will. And if you go now, you might miss out on them. And like I said, I would have missed out on so much. So just try to stay another day, if, even if you have to take it day by day. But just wait and see what happens tomorrow. See who you might meet tomorrow. See what might happen tomorrow. Because... We're all going to go anyways. We have a very short time here. That's the thing that we keep we keep forgetting when we contemplate this is we're going anyways. Life is, a, I'm 51 now. And like most people when we get older will tell you, life speeds up. And by the time you start to get older, um, and especially people tell you this once they get in the six seventies, the days just go like this. So before I know it, life's just gone. And of course, sometimes, you know, Things happen, accidents, and sometimes you don't know. You get hit by a bus or lightning, or and you could even go before that. So life is a blank. Life is a miracle. It's unfortunate that our society makes it so hellish when really it's a miracle when we're living in paradise here in planet ocean. But many of billions of people are fighting to, to, to get back our freedom, get back the joy in life, get back the best of humanity, turn, turn ourselves back to... to simpler ways of what humanity was meant to do and and we're, we're doing that and people are um, fighting the fascism that's happening today and and all the toxic conditioning and, and and that that seeps in that makes us contemplate suicide and other things so um don't give up don't give up wait another day you don't know what you could what you might uh, be missing and we could really use you because if, if you're contemplating, you're a sensitive person. And we need sensitive people here. We need lovers. So, but I mean, obviously it's up to you. I'm not trying to guilt anybody. I would never guilt anybody. I mean, if you really feel it's your time to go, I mean, 
you know you people will be hurt you may think people won't miss you they will so you have to keep that in mind that you, you, you're going to break a lot of hearts and again that's not meant to be guilt it's just to be again when we consider this we do weigh the options so that is a real option so um that's one reason to hold off but uh, again that's not necessarily for everybody uh, enough to stay so again i no judgment but i'm saying if you can find reasons to stay stay and consider that you know we could use you and instead of of making but your loved ones sad you could be helping them through their sadness because they're suffering too right so i'm just saying we could really use your help but i mean do the best you can i mean i, I don't know what's on your shoulders maybe it's something that just you know is too much but we would love for you to stay a lot of us would love for you to stay even if just a little longer just because maybe maybe you still have a few more miracles to enjoy or maybe some to pass on some miracles before you go even that maybe just stay around long enough to just help a few other people out before you go how about that that's what there's a reason so i guess what i'm saying is find reasons go day to day and believe me you'll be missing out on, on a lot of miracles so there are reasons to stay and we hope you'll stay with us and we love you and i love you